名前小熊秀夫お店の名前東十条埼玉屋62年私埼玉屋2代目 So today we are at Saitamaya Yakitori. And we've done a couple of videos in the past before about Yakitori, but this place takes it to an entirely new level. So we got here at 3 o'clock. Service opens at 4. And when we got here, the lineup was already huge. People travel from all over the country to come here to eat. The last time we were here, people on the corner there were from Hokkaido, people across from us were from Kyoto. This is a culinary pilgrimage that people book time out to come here to experience. The first thing you get in your course is the beef secret. This is Wagyu beef right here in their special sauce. And just wait a second. One of the things you'll notice from all the people, when they first eat this, the only thing you can do is put your hands down and look around as if, holy shit, did I just have this. Pork intestine. Some of you are going to be like, ew, intestine. This is so good. He grills it and he salts it gently and then you eat it and you think, where has this been my whole life? Mm. That's right. It's so amazing, guys. Mm. It's so amazing, guys. Mm. It's so amazing, guys. It's so so amazing, guys. It's so amazing, and I love this stick. A smooth mousse. A lot of liver you sometimes have. You bite into it and it crunches and it fights back. This is just... Imagine pate on a stick. Oh man. This right here is spleen. You barely ever see spleen at a place like this. And this is covered in a garlic butter. Spleen is really good. Spleen is great. Oh, mercy. Friends, come here. You don't know. I'm so happy. It could be because I had two lemon sours already. Mm. And the video quality slowly gets worse. <laughs> now, there are some rules to this place. この大人の時間がないっていうのが良くないよね。今日本は、今日本はもうファミリーばっかりでやるから、やっぱファミリーじゃない大人の世界っていうのも必要だと思いますね。Let's talk about the lemon sour. Normally lemon sours are made with like ice cubes, but this place actually freezes their alcohol in advance. They're using shochu. They freeze it and make it kind of slushy, so they don't need to add any ice. So these are hardcore. A gigantic glass of shochu, freshly squeezed lemons, and then they add a little bit of soda water, and then they rim it with some salt. It's kind of like a Japanese margarita. No cameras, no pictures, no video. 
でダメ、まあ、あんまり取られたらまずいんじゃないかな要するに結構秘密が入ってるのもあるから、うん、Now some of you might be asking if we're not allowed to take photos here how is it that we're shooting video here and to answer your question I really don't know. See, we're really good friends with a tabalog reviewer named Tokyo Rock, so you can check out his page here. And we came here and ate with him. He's been eating at this place for over 20 years now, and he just asked in passing if we could shoot a video, and the owner said yes. But he has turned down tons of television opportunities. He's turned down CNN. You would have a better chance of going to NASA and saying, hey, I like your spaceship, can I fly it? And them saying yes, then you getting a video in this place. I'm amazed, I'm honored. This is such a special, wonderful day, guys. Woo! Now, this is altogether an amazing experience, but the saddest part is when you look down on your plate and you see that you've got eight sticks because you know that there's only one more stick to go. But eight sticks means there's one left. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to change anything. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Full made salsa on your chicken. He said it felt like a really nice palate cleanser. Like you have all this kind of like oily, really intense food. And then at the end of the night, you have this beautiful last stick of beautifully grilled chicken covered in salsa with a little bit of like peppers inside of it. Mm. Mm. I mean, I want 20 more, but I won't ask. That's it. That's it. That's it. もう笑顔で帰ってほしい売る方も笑顔で売り笑顔で売りたいって言い方欲しいけど要するに笑顔で帰ってほしい美味しいとみんな顔が豊かになるからうん。Guys, we just had an incredible night here. What you didn't see off camera was that the chef just let us sit down with the rest of his family, his grandkids, and they cooked us a little tiny home-cooked meal and we shared it with everybody and we just had an absolutely incredible night. And this place is a family-run business. It's been passed down from generation to generation and you can feel it in the passion for the food. So I really recommend that you put this on your bucket list of things to come to. It may not be the most expensive place, but the food is absolutely top-notch. And please just do us a favor, make sure you follow the rules. Come here. Put your camera down, put your phone down, watch them grill the meat, try everything, and just remember this as a really special experience in your life, guys.